you make it $400 a week barely getting by. Live and check the check. It's old, man. They take half my money anyways. Spider is spelling me. Beggars can't be choosers. Woo! So yeah, I live uh, eight miles from my job. It's a nice place to work, believe me. It's, you're never cold, you're never hot, free food. I just hate, I hate it. I hate what it is. Uh, the people who run it are just, woo! I mean, I make decent money for around here. But I'm just tired, of, just tired of it. 33 years old, I don't know what the hell I want to do. I try to take care of my family as good as I can. But there's something missing. I just feel like I'm wasting my time. Oh man. I don't know. I'm going to my last day of work. And uh, I'm really going to start uh, pressing for this trip. Uh, i got about six weeks, less than six weeks now. And uh, the support everybody's given me, uh, I was surprised actually. So right on, party on, internet world, friends. All right, so here I am at work. It's uh, 10 to 12. Uh, I'm out, going in handing my badge. So what day you take off? The 13th or 14th. 14th? 13th or 14th of August. Sorry, Mark Small's here with me. He, he won't sue me. Every day you'll have something. Every day you'll have something. Give you something every day to check out. Anyway, I'm out, so this is it. Party on. So here I am. I just resigned my job. I feel good though. I'm not sad really. I mean, I'm sad that I'm going to not see you guys anymore because you guys are awesome. Everybody I work with. That's why I pretty much went to work every day was to hang out with you guys. But oh, it's kind of a weight lifted off me. I can't believe I did it, to tell you the truth. Uh, well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it was an easy, actually, it was easy to resign with Ralph. He's a nice guy. And uh, I want to do an exit interview on Tuesday. So I guess we'll see how it goes. But again, I'm done. Thank you, Casino, for your employment. We're here live with Philo, who's planning his trek cross country. But why? Why does 33 year old man decide that he wants to backpack across this great nation of ours? That's what I'm wondering. It's probably what you're wondering. Hey, Jason. I hear you. We got a couple. I don't know. I'm just tired of going to work every day for paying my bills and barely getting by. I mean,. I'm not a cry ass. I mean, I have a pretty good life, right? But I mean, I think it's time for people to get together. Is this? Could you? Would you say this was a dream of yours? Absolutely. My name is Jason Phillips, and I'm about to uh, backpack across America in the next 30 days. I plan on leaving. Um, I plan on walking for the rights of our American citizens that we're losing every day. It's time for it to come to a stop. Uh, America needs to come together. I just want to do this before something happens to me and if I can change the minds of some people. I mean, we're all stuck in this little ball of going to work every day and, and they're just doing shit behind our backs that you don't even realize is going on. I mean, we found this country on fighting for freedom and uh, knowing what's right for the good of our nation and it's being torn apart, it's being taken away. And if I can do this walk and wake as many people up as possible, maybe we can change things together. I just think for the next two months, I'll find myself a little more. <coughs> All right guys, I've been uh, walking for about a half an hour, no rides yet. Um, let's see how it goes. I'm starting to get a little better shape, I feel a little better, a little more confident. Uh, just uh, the whole website, you know, we're gonna try to push the issue of uh, you know what's been taken away from us and 
what we can do to make it better. So I was going to bring a bunch of things up, but I thought I'd ask you guys first. You know, what, what's, what's really troubling you guys? What, what do you guys want to talk about? You know, what's going to make you guys feel better? And uh, we'll see what, you know, what we get. Everybody has an opinion on everything, so let's get everybody's opinion. And what's, what's pissing you off? And maybe we'll talk about what's pissing you off next time I talk to you. So, uh, I'll be back. Yeah, so uh, back to the guy that picked me up. Again, I asked him, uh, he was a Native American. I asked him to do an interview and he did decline and I don't, I don't blame him. Uh, but I had a good conversation with him and like I said, I mean, I can do all the complaining I want what they're taking away from us, but look what they took it away from the natives. I mean, really since Columbus, what does that t-shirt say, fighting terrorism since 1492? The land of the truth, no way. So hey, getting ready to crash. It's like 11.30, it's a long day. I set my tent up just like I would uh, if I was on the road. And I'm doing exactly what I think I or hope I'll be doing on the road, just chilling. I was drinking a smoke and getting ready to crash out for the night to do it again tomorrow. Uh, it was a good day today. I was uh, really excited about what happened. Cool people I met. And, uh, it was nice to be able to get here and just chill out and relax. I got some good food in me and hung out a little bit. So, anyways, everybody, uh, party on and peace out. So it's the morning of July eighth, uh, two thousand eleven closer to uh, my journey. Um, I guess we're, uh, today, tonight's been kind of a, just a book that I've been doing things prepared. Walk, talking walk. Yeah, we're walking, we're talking walk. Talking walk. Talking walk. A lot of people talk the talk. What are we doing finally? We're talking the walk. <laughs> That's great. I'm honest, I was saying it was okay. It's about the whole trip. Water, technically, yeah. water everywhere. The whole country is flooding. I'll find some water. <laughs> well, you be drinking stream water and well, shit. Uh, there's ways to, to you beaver fever. Yeah. So the kids are all like pumped up too. All right, like who's this, Jack? We got, I got Philo to instead of point at where he's going to highlight that shit <laughs> because uh, we got to get really organized with the stops. That way, the homie doesn't get lost out in the wilderness with no plan and. Uh, Hungry I mean, belly. I'm gonna say this day three, but I'd like to go further than that. Bad there. blister, rain, I mean, no food. Miles. So, hey, uh, it's uh, July something. Now that I'm not working, I lose track of the days. But I think it's 11th. Um, getting ready to head to Plattsburgh this morning. Uh, it's gonna be, I'm sure, quite a hike. Hope so I'll get, you know, some rides and meet some cool people again. Uh, I figure it's about 70 miles from my house, so with hopes, you know, I can definitely get a few rides there. Ain't no way I'm making it all the way today. All right, so I've been walking for a good hour now. I've probably done three or four miles. And uh, I guess I just today, I kind of want to talk a few, about a few different things. Uh, especially what's been on my mind lately is uh, all of our local schools, Frank Lennon. St. Lawrence County. Uh, I don't know how many of the budgets didn't pass. Uh, and the ones that did pass, they took away positions in some of them. I think anywhere between 10 and 25 positions were taken from a lot of the area schools. Uh, a lot of the programs, I don't believe there's hardly any modified sports anymore. They've combined them all to 7th, 8th, and 9th grade. I think there was 30 some kids out uh, my kids baseball team. I mean how is everybody gonna be able to play? I mean these kids this is a one time one time deal you get to go to school play sports uh, so where are our tax dollars going? I mean the state should be funding the school before they should be funding anything else. If these people can't make their budgets the state should be stepping in and make sure they are 
No positions at school should be being taken away. No programs. All right, so we got a ride out of Messina actually by another woman. And my name is Evelyn. So Evelyn, you know who you are. If you're watching, you're an awesome person. Uh, I started seeing some farms and uh, I'll just show you one here. You used to have so many beautiful farms like this up here in the North Country. And uh, there's so few and far between now. Uh, just a statistic, uh, about 100 years ago, 50% of the population either owned a farm, worked on a farm. Now it's down to 2%. 2% of the American population either owns or works on a farm. Other than that, it's these huge, monstrous farms that the government controls and pretty much put in the food whatever they want. Uh, that's what it's come to. Uh, they want us to rely on them. They do not want us to be self-sufficient people. So we really need to try to start putting our own little gardens up, start canning your fruits and vegetables, uh, we need to stop being so reliant on them. Someday, when shit hits the fan, if it does, you're going to want to be able to take care of yourself and your family.